Well, someone thinks their kingdom spouse is too serious. Someone thinks that their kingdom spouse is too serious to afford. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Papa San Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for someone. Someone thinks that their kingdom spouse is too serious to afford. And it's not like serious here doesn't mean like they are getting married today. No, serious here means that this person is focused on work. This person is too focused on serious activity they go to work they come back they go to church they come back no time for fun no time to 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 to, to play around no time to and it's becoming a bother to some other person because they look at this person and they're like why is this person like this i love an outdoor life but why is this person so this is the reason why they're probably there, there are several reasons the first reason is the possible change in difference in age. When you are way too younger than your spouse, the, you, are at, you, you, you end up at the stage of your life. You are probably at the stage of your life where you are still excited about many things. You want to go out. You want to have fun. You want to see new places. But your spouse who is older possibly has seen all of those things they've passed through those stages and they've seen all of those things and probably seen that there is nothing to it so the difference in age you are trying to get to step into a level where they have retired from so the chances that you are going to look at them like they are way they are just too serious are very high and the thing is, they've seen that life and they know how it ended. Like they didn't get anything out of it. It was just catching fun. And at the end of the day, all they might have gotten out of it was could have been mistakes. Or could have been just that excitement that didn't last. So they, they are trying to let you know that there is nothing in this bed. You are feeling like they are boring. They are feeling, you are, they are feeling like, like, you are feeling like they are boring. That is not possibly it. It's just that they've seen all of this. And it's just the difference. So if you are supposed to be a part of this person's life, then you've got to adapt. Know that you've got to, first of all, adapt. And then secondly, see how to maybe inculcate some fun into their lives without it being excessive you they might not want to go out but you can still bring fun into the house they might not be the type that goes out for weekends but you could still look for a way to bring fun activities into the house you could still look for a way to plan maybe a fun vacation in a discreet place where you can you can still find a way to fit yourself they should have something they are fond of maybe a hobby Find a way to fit yourself, teach yourself, train yourself to have fun in what they find as to, to be their hobby. Find a way to enjoy it and still have the best moments together. Then the, the next possible way is your temperament might be different. You could be connected to someone who is a melancholy and you are not. So don't expect them to be the same as you. Understand their temperament. Understand too how they grew up. Understand the circumstances surrounding them. The third thing is surrounding their, 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 their upbringing and everything. Try to understand where they are coming from. The third thing is it could be the nature of their profession. It could be the nature of what they are doing of their career of their call there are people that normally are called to have conserved life if the person if your spouse is for instance a man of god or a woman of god you don't expect their lives to be all out there you don't expect their lives or if they are 
maybe a public figure you don't you might not expect their lives to be all out there expect to start training yourself to live a conserved life start training yourself to live that kind of life that will be serious and mature so what they are called to do also has a role to play their family where they are coming from has a role to play sometimes we meet some people and their experiences growing up we are not formed they've gone through a difficult they've gone through difficult experiences and where they are right now they don't want to relieve the, those experiences they don't want their children to go through some those experiences or oh, i for one like when you've had maybe a childhood that was filled with maybe battles poverty hardship you get to a point where that is not the kind of story you want your children to tell so i could tend to become a workaholic not because i want to become a workaholic but because i want to do the possible best that i can to ensure that my children don't have to suffer the things i suffered to ensure that my children don't have to go through the same things i went through to ensure that my children don't have to experience the same things I experienced. So sometimes people take life too seriously because of where they are coming from, because of what they've been through. Life has not been fun to them. So they see no need to make fun out of life. Life has not been fair to them. So they might not see reason to make fun out of life. Sometimes it's just their nature, it's just the environment. So what do you do? Understand, seek to understand why people are the way they are. Seek to understand why people act the way they do. And when you've understood why that is the way it is, then find a way to fit into their lives. Find a way to inculcate your own fun into their lives. Find a way to adapt to their lives. If you realize that you can't fit, it's more than you then you could just step out and keep trusting god for better keep trusting god for who is going to be the person that you want who is going to be that person but guess what most often way most often the temperaments everything the desires are never the same most often you will not find someone who just fits into your life the way you want them to fit. Most often that is never going to happen. Only a few people could be lucky, could be blessed to see that happen. So you just might need to adapt to your own situation. God bless you. Shalom.